The key for eggs on toast for breakfast is to do a really soft and slow scrambled egg. Just keep your heat on low the whole time. I just discovered like a soft, slow scrambled egg this past year and it has seriously been life changing. I think I used to just overcook slash burn all of the eggs I made. Monday friends still sipping on my coffee so I'm not at a hundred percent me yet but I'm getting there I did my nails the other day and I'm just loving them I did ice from our G polish winter collection and I just love this color it's like a periwinkle blue it's really pretty and it's so funny <laughs> I was like holding my hydro flask the exact same color <laughs> twinning with my bestie so last night I scheduled my whole week out. I kind of have a busy week because I have two auditions that I need to film today and tomorrow. And I have a presentation in one of my classes today and I have a meeting with one of my teachers tomorrow. So it's 9.30 right now. And I'm just gonna do some emails and also try to get a little bit of homework done. And then I'm gonna film this audition at 12.30 and then I have class from four to six. That's the day. My new obsession is these two new glasses that I got. They're kind of a little bit too big for my face, I think, but I also think that's what makes them adorable. I love the print. I got these from J. Crew, and they're blue light lenses because I literally live on my computer like the rest of us. Then I got these other ones from Warby Parker. I just wanted a like plain, simple black frame. I feel like these are my more serious, academic. I feel like I, I'm like an architect when I wear these glasses. These, it's like, I'm a little more fun. My personality is a little more crazy. I'm more of an eccentric. And those are my two glasses personalities. Thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, reunited with Barrett. So it's a very rainy day out, as you can see. And we thought, what better way to spend a rainy day than to make some outrageous brownies. Ooh, free brownies, ew. Ooh, woo, woo. So we're making some brownies. However, I only have half the amount of butter that the recipe called for, so we're halving all of the ingredients. Instead of making 20 brownies, we're making 10, 10 which is brownies. much better because we don't need 20 brownies. Yeah, sensitive stomach. Yeah. Here's the ingredients, and uh, we'll take you along for the ride. Hopefully they turn out good. Yeah. Anything else to say? Yeah. Okay. Also, aren't these flowers so pretty that I picked up yesterday? The woman said that they were, I think, a variation of tulips, and they were completely closed, and as soon as I put them in water, like within an hour, they totally opened up, and they're just so pretty. Just really in love with them. Aren't they, don't they look pretty? Oh, it's pretty as you. Aww. Aww. What's up, guys? Um, stirring. Nice. Zoo, you're in the shot. Hi. <laughs> Shots are always like. It's, it's called cinematic, and you look great. It's called creativity. Thank you so much. Okay, you're a little close. The tight one. Okay, so we're doing some experimentation. We crushed up a Thin Mint Girl Scout cookie, and we're putting it on a little slice of the brownie. So we've got Thin Mint, just regular plain with sea salt, and walnut. Oh. 
to me. Oh I have to wrap it. Brownies. I have to wrap it. You're just gonna leave me here? Yeah, one time. Wait, send her a little message for when she's editing. Um, my little message for G while she's doing her brownies is, you're a baddie, keep pushing, keep grinding. You got it. Loves you. What's your message for her? Um, quickly, she's coming. I don't know. Fuck. I'm stressed. Set timer for 15 minutes. I just wanted to be like, there, that short? Yeah, that much off, right? That is literally perfect. How did no. you do that? No. Okay, I want the other one exactly like this. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, the after, so what did we do? So we cut some bangs like shorter, which I wanted, and then we have some like layering pieces like Little down pieces. here. Yeah. Just so it kinda all she just looks funky fresh. Ready for going out night. Yay! Okay, this is the final product of the brownies. I need a reaction. Oh Which ones? my god. These are the this. best they like melted brownies bags, I've ever had. Yeah. Happy Wednesday vlog. I don't know why this is turning into a very food heavy video, but that's just like all I do is just eat pretty much and stay inside and do school so those are really the most exciting things going on um so here is what I've been having if I run out of avocado for my avocado toast I really like these this is my first time trying this it's the collagen protein oats purely Elizabeth blueberry walnut flavor and I really like it I actually add extra frozen blueberries and then I top it with peanut butter and I really like this yogurt this is the Icelandic provisions vanilla flavor really good and I just do this with some oatly or some water and put in the microwave for two minutes it's really fast and easy here's what it looks like this is the final result hi so I'm currently on my way to attempt to get out of the house get a little walk-in I'm gonna go pick up a coffee from Starbucks I've been really dying to try this like foam that they have I'm getting a cold brew with the sweet cream vanilla foam I think it's called on top and I'm really curious to try it. Uh, looking just uh, gorgeous right now. I'm just really looking my best. But what are you gonna do? Double masking. At this point, I'll honestly take any excuse to get out of the house, even if it's just for a coffee. It's actually a really nice day today. We've had a really cold, cold winter here in New York, and now it feels like the sun's out and it's starting to warm up, which is great. Snow is starting to melt, which is gross. I secured the coffee. It's a lot lighter than how I like my coffee. I actually usually like my coffee black, but it could be a fun treat. So very curious to taste test. Okay, I just got back and it's time to taste test the coffee. I have not sipped it yet. So this is what I got. I got a grande cold brew with vanilla sweet cream foam. Let me just say, I thought it was gonna be like foam, like on top, not throughout the coffee but I'm gonna have an open mind. It sounds good. It sounds like a fun, flirty drink. Let's give it a taste. Ooh, I actually really like that. With the word sweet cream in the title of the foam, you may think that would it would be really sweet, but it's not. It's like not sweet at all. It's just very subtle. Mm. There was this other drink on the menu that I hadn't seen before that I also want to try. It was a honey almond cold brew. I think they just put honey and like a splash of almond milk in it. That also sounded really good for like a midday pick-me-up. 
Hey guys, here's what's next on the agenda. My baby hairs are going crazy today. Anyways, taking my trusty granny cart out in town, very fitting because I'm basically a grandma at this point. I'm going to mail some packages at the post office. I'm off again, out of the house for the third time today, which is more than I've been out of the house probably a week. <laughs> I'm going to donate some clothes in Barrett's building. He has a donation drop off. So I have some stuff of mine and Cicely's that we want to donate. So that's what's happening. But it's a really beautiful day out today. I don't even need a coat, crazy. Oh, thank you. I was such a gentleman. I've pretty much done everything on my to-do list for today. This is my day off, so I don't have school, but I had a bunch of homework and then you saw me, I had to like go drop off and kind of just do some random errands. The last thing I need to do is read my play for my theater class this week. So I'm gonna do that. Sorry, this is such a boring vlog. There's not a lot going on. As there should be, or shouldn't be. As there shouldn't be a lot going on. I mean, we are in a global pandemic. Yeah, there's just not a lot going on here. I basically do school, hang out with my roommates, and <laughs> occasionally go on a walk and eat, as you're seeing. That's mostly what I film because that's the most interesting, fun part of my day. <laughs> so anyways, sorry if it's boring, but just being honest, you know? I am gonna go do some homework and I'll see you later. Tonight, we're cooking up some salmon on the stove and then roasting some veggies. It's gonna be good. Hope you all are having a good night. Finished product for dinner. Salmon turned out really good. Practice makes perfect. I have gotten so much better at salmon. I'm very proud of myself. Salmon with a little dill, little toasted piece of bread, some pesto, so some leftover fried rice, and then I just roasted some veggies. Let's try the salmon. I'm really getting better at salmon. I'm just very proud of myself. It's so good. Two thumbs up, but one is holding the camera, so. Hey guys, I just painted my nails. I am using the brand new G Polish Madrid collection. I am so, so excited about this collection because it's inspired by my time that I spent last year in Madrid on a study abroad program. As I've talked about before on this channel, it was such an amazing experience and I was so sad when it got cut off a bit short, but just all of the amazing colors and the vibrant energy that I felt and saw in my time in Spain and in Madrid just really inspired me to do a collection in honor of my time there. So this collection consists of five colors that go beautifully together. As you can see here, I paired them together or you can wear them individually. They're just really fun, bright, unique, and beautiful and they're perfect for spring and summertime, which I can't wait for spring and summertime because it's starting to warm up here in New York, which I'm very happy about. For this manicure, I did a little half and half nail art, which I think turned out really cute. It's super easy to do. You just need a skinny nail art brush for the white line, but you don't even need the white line. You could just do half and half using the actual brush on the polish. I used the colors Flamenco, which is this tangerine color, and Rosado, which is this gorgeous, raspberry pink color and yeah i'm just in love with it and had to show you guys <laughs> i am so proud that g polish is a woman owned and founded business and speaking of women this month is women's history month as you probably saw the other day was international women's day so it's all about celebrating women this month i think it's so important to take this month to celebrate all of the progress that's been made for women's equality and women's rights but also to take time and acknowledge that there is so much more work that needs to be done as an actress and someone in the film industry i know firsthand that there is 
so much more that needs to be done for equality within the film industry. 2021 was the first year more than one woman was nominated as best director ever in the history of the Golden Globes. In 2020, 66%, two times as many men, worked in key positions as women in independent films. Women working in key behind the scenes roles was 34%. 42% of streaming programs had clearly identifiable sole female protagonists. 27% of cable programs had female protagonists. Only 24% of broadcast programs had featured female protagonists. As you can see from just those few statistics, we have a long way to go in creating a truly equitable society and also film and television industry. I'm gonna leave some more resources down below in the description box on Women's History Month, but I'd also love if we could start a conversation in the comments on what it means to you to be a woman. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me this week and happy Women's History Month. Yay! See you in the next video.